welcome youtube welcome to today's video today's video is gonna be a video on my fidget toy collection i know this probably isn't as big as some people on youtube i randomly decided to do it why the fuck but yeah oh. let's just start off with the top which are my reversible squishes no reversible octopus these were the first two i actually got and i fucking love them they're adorable this is ellie and this is bruno i don't know if you count these as like fidget toys but i guess they kind of are because like you flip them around and you can kind of like fidget with them i guess sometimes I like playing with them and just like doing that with them. This one's got blue inside of it. It's so soft as well. This one's Bruno. It's green the other side. This is Mira. I named her this and I love this side because she's great. Now I like to say to all my friends, this is me in the morning because it's right. She's cute. She's like the mommy of these two. It's like, see where I'm going here? Okay, I'm going to stop with my Hello Kitty pop it. Friend Meggie Moo got me this. Oh, she bought it for herself and then she didn't want it in the end. She said, I'm going to give you this because you like Hello Kitty and cats and which is right. I do like Hello Kitty and I love I love cat. I love my Hello Kitty pop. It's the biggest one I own. I never owned a big one before. I didn't realise how big it was. She said, I'm going to give you this. I'm like, really? You don't have to. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to give it you for being a good friend to me. So I was like, thank you. And then I got it. I was like, jeez, it's bigger than before. I love it anyway. Oh boy, where do I start here? This is one of my first fidgets I ever got. It's like one of them foam stress balls. It's got a smiley face on it. It's blue. It's not my colour, but my mum bought it me like ages ago. Probably back in like 2015. I've had this thing like probably the longest. Fun to like play with it. Though. <laughs> Wishies! This is my first one I ever got. I remember when I first bought this and it smelled so damn nice. It's so damn cute. I like squishing it. I think I got a bit worried about squishing it, so I'm trying to put it on display. Just put it with squishes, they don't last very long and they rip easily. I love it though, it's so cute. I've got two plushy ones here. Let me see them to play with quite a bit. It's a plushy one. Is this on toast? Like cheese on toast? Is that like what it is? Or pizza? I don't know. This is a burger, I can tell that. But it's cute though. I love it anyway, even though I'm not a burger person, I'm a pizza person. Yeah, you see what I mean when you like it with them, they like crack easily. They're cute though, I prefer these though, because they're nice and soft. And I love soft things. This is my panda one. So damn cute. I don't want to focus, but you get the idea. I love this one so much. The ears are starting to fall off. Like, other than that, held up quite well, and I've had this for years now. These are stress balls I like. And this stress ball. It's like a knee toe. It's like a cat one. I got it from the works. You can't really see its face because of the light. I like it though. It's cute. They only have yellow, orange, and green, I think. They didn't have purple, and I would have got a purple one. These are like squishy things, and I love these things. This is like. Like, I thought it was a unicorn, but it's about it's a narwhal. Makes sense. It doesn't look like narwhal. It's just so damn cute. And considering I dress quite emo and alternative a lot of the time, I do love kawaii stuff. And I love pastel stuff and I love rainbow things. It's so cute. This is basically like a stuffed toy and the squishy combined. It's like, what more can you ask for? Oh yeah, this is another one. I fucking love this one. I got it from Claire's. It's Claire's exclusive. These are Squishimals. That's a Squishimal as well. I'm guessing that's an official brand of these. But I love this one so much. It's probably my favourite one. It's so damn cute. So cute, the squishy ball one, you love it. Yeah, I love this bat so damn much. I got it at Halloween time and I just love it in general. This is my favourite Christmas one. Food up. Oh my god, remember I was in Morrison's and I saw these because I used to shop in Morrison's. I don't know if I still will be shopping at Morrison's. I saw these and this one was the cutest and I told my mom, she's like, have them all. It was free. It was like snowman, Santa, Rudolph. And I don't know what happened to my snowman. I might put it up the attic or. This is my favourite one out the lot though. It's so damn cute and squishy ball. I love him. It's just so cute. My Santa, it's not as squishable. I don't know if it's because I haven't played with it as much. It could be. So that's like really soft and I love it. This one I got from the Sea Life Centre. It was just so cute. I couldn't resist it. It was kind of Rich Crumpet's fault because he said, this is cute. And I was like, yeah, it's cute. I'm buying it now. I got this from that Sea Life Centre and a little penguin from my internet fan Dan because he loves penguins. I'm glad I did bought it when I did because I haven't been back since. Yeah, I love it so much. You know these reversible octopuses? I got one in a poppet. So cute. I love this so much you can even like like play with it oh my god i just love it okay i didn't really care at the time what colors it was i just wanted one blue probably wouldn't have been my first choice i suppose in the shop there wasn't much choice and i just wanted one so i just picked it up anyway but nevertheless it's adorable and i love it so i love puppets i don't know what would you call this i think there's like turtle ones you can get now i don't know if i'd ever get the turtle one okay this is my puppet oh, okay this it's quite cheaply made compared to these two but it's fine i was like i don't care i just want a puppet but in fact 
something like this or remove my second poppet because I don't have my original poppet. It was like a hexagon rainbow poppet and I loved it. It was a proper poppet and I fucking loved it, man. But I think I lost it on my sleepover trip. I was like, I lost my fucking poppet. I don't know where it went. And I looked in all my bags and I thought, mm, it's going to be in one of my other bags. No, I fucking lost the thing. And I, so I was like, when I went shopping again, I saw poppets. So I'm like, picking this up. A bit different to my original one, but it's a rainbow one. I was like, when I opened it, I was like, that feels cheaply made. But I was like, you know what? I don't care. Still pops. As you can see. I ain't that bothered as long as it does what I want it to do. But yeah, I love this. I read when I was in B and Bargains. <laughs> I picked up this because I was also I was just in B and Bargains, and this has more satisfying props to be fair. And I was also because I was in B and Bargains, I picked up an octopus for one of my friend's birthday, and she's got it now, and she loves her octopus. I bought this myself. It's a purple one, even though it does look pretty pink. But when I put it side by side to her poppet, which is pink, yeah, it's like pastel purple. It does look pink. I can tell it's purple. I picked her a pink one because it's so fair color, and I wanted the purple one I was like you know what I'm getting another one <laughs> I don't care yeah I love it though yeah I love this pocket well, this one is my recent one I got from Primark so right be fair even though it's from Primark I actually don't feel too bad I mean I, I got these three from cheap shops so like I don't expect top quality I don't know I ain't that bothered to be fair as long as it does what I want it to do yeah this one will probably break with me one of the days but my mochi which one my friend Maggie gave it me I don't have many mochis but it's pretty cool this is one of my first puppets tangle I don't actually play my tangle with. I kind of forget about it but it's kind of cool but again I wouldn't have chose blue I would, probably would have chose purple but I don't really play with it oh my god okay I'm trying to get my tangle back <laughs> No, I can't. Mmm, tangles like pulling me. It's supposed to be a stress reliever. There we go, I've put it back how it sort of. There we go. I remember my best friend had one of these. She likes her video toys as well, you know. So you get breaking it, because you can easily like break it off like that, can't you? It's easy to fix back together. Like so. I always had to fix it for her, but I didn't mind. This is my first simple dimple, but it broke on me as you can see. Yeah, it's alright. I remember I was just playing with it. I mean it is from Poundland, so I kind of can't expect top quality for a simple dimple, can I? Purple and green, I mean it's I'm a bit, I'll just shove it on here. I mean, this was a pound. I mean, this was cheap, considering. Because I got a purple poppet, a bit like this. But I'll give it to my intact friend Dan, because it helps with mental health. So I kind of want to give him one. And it come with this. And I was like, I'm having a simple dimple. I explained to him, just in case he saw the package, I had the simple dimple. He didn't mind. I don't think he even noticed. But, you know. I wanted to be straight up about it. I didn't want to, like, lie about it or whatever. This was pretty cheap. Something like that. That's basically what the package was. But obviously, I give that purple poppet to my intact friend Dan. He deserved it. He deserved it something to help with stress and stuff. I love this simple dimple so how much. Oh my god, this was my first poppet thing. What the fuck do you call this? I would call it a poppet fidget spinner. But the fidget community would probably say, oh, it's like a simple dimple or a dimple spinner. I don't know. But to me, it's a poppet spinner. The first one I ever got, because I loved my fidget spinners, man. It's like a poppet. And a spinner, which I'll be getting into my spinners in a bit. Actually. This is another one, same sort of thing. This one's from Bean at Bargain, so it feels more cheap compared to this one. I can easily like pull that apart and like, you see what I mean? But yeah, you can pull that out, but just shove it back. It's my favourite. I just definitely put them side by side. This definitely feels like really cheap, but I ain't complaining. I got it from a cheap shop anyway, so you're gonna get that. This, I love this thing. I need more of these. Basically, great for autism and stuff. And I like chewing on like, some things, chewing on straws. So it's just great. I feel like chewing it off. I'm a bit stressed, or if I want something to chew on, I'm going to go, so it's that's fine. <laughs> I probably look ridiculous, but I don't care. I love this thing. My friend Maggie Moo gave it me. I need some more of these. I love it so much. Alright, okay, let's get into my fidget spinners. I have four fidget spinners. I did have a fifth one, but I don't know what happened to it. I didn't like that one because it's pretty shit. I remember my mum put the bouquet 40 on it and it just ruined it. <laughs> but I didn't care for that fidget spinner that much, so I didn't really care. Okay, this is my first fidget spinner I ever got. It may be, the paint may be coming off it and it's pink. I didn't care, I just wanted a fidget spinner. But I love this fidget spinner. No, it's probably one of my favourites. It's so damn cool! I love it, okay? Remember this. I went that key on it at the time, but now I actually like it. The black fidget spinner. Yeah, as you can see at the top bit, come off this one. That's okay, I ain't bothered. As long as I can still spin it, I ain't bothered. This fidget spinner, it's like animal print on it. The thing come off that one, but it's still on that side, so. Is this the one I used to keep taking it off when I was in college? Probably. I remember I used this fidget spinner quite a bit in college. I was in college when I got my fidget spinners. I like this fidget spinner though, it's alright. It's not my favourite, but it's alright. This is my favourite fidget spinner. It feels like a little baby in comparison. Is it actually smaller or if it's just me? I think it is a bit. I think, well, it's my favourite because it's my favourite colour. It's got my favourite colours on it, purple and black. It's just so cute. I love it. I just love this. My 
I've never seen the video I filmed before this one. I couldn't find it my perfect bag. I was like, please don't tell me I lost my favourite fidget spinner man. Still got it, it's all good. See if I lost this one, I wouldn't be very happy. I don't think this is a fidget toy, but it's in here. Right, that's kind of my fidget collection. I haven't lost any of them. I only accept my first poppet and one of my fidget spinners, but I didn't like that fidget spinner anyway, so I ain't that bothered. I loved my first poppet I had. Like amazing, but I lost it. I bought it on my birthday money. Oh, there's one of these. Alright, so this is all my like fidget type toy. What other collection videos could I do? Other than the Kirby collection. Pay my simple dimple, don't mind me. I fucking love this thing. Like one of my favourite fidgets, man. If you guys want me to do more collection videos, let me know. No, I'm not gonna start making fidget content. I just wanted to make a fidget collection randomly. These fidget toys are damn good for like autism and stuff like that. And anxiety and things like that. They're like the simple dimple is like amazing. I can't believe my original one broke on me. I put this in like a hairdryer box. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go now, so bye guys.